Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So my video today is actually a continuation from my first Grenada video I posted a few days ago. Hope you guys are enjoying that video. Continue to watch, continue to subscribe if you haven't already and continue to share. And this one here, I actually went to St. George's. That is the capital of Grenada. We went down, we went over to a supermarket as well. And I can't wait to show you all that. It is amazing. And St. George's is a lovely place. The layout is amazing. It's perfect wallpaper. And I'm just gonna go straight into this video. So let's get into it. Good morning. Hi. This is security. Good. Yes. Morning, morning. You can join a bus. You can join a bus out there for 350. Uh-huh. Go in town. Oh. And then join a bus and come back. Yeah, so that's the supermarket. You want me to go? Okay, that's good. So that's shop, the shopping center. They call the supermarket over there. There is Republic Bank over there. Um, Suzuki uh, building, right? So this is the public road, I'm assuming. There's Saul gas station up above. The, there's lots of houses up there though. All the way up there. Wait, we gotta, I think we gotta wait for the sign. building right so in here is the pharmacy there is Western Union and um, there's a place that sells cell phone and stuff too hello morning and now we're going into the supermarket Oh. Yeah, just like home, there's lots of things similar like home. It's you just like home. You don't get roti, roti in, a, in, a, in, a, in a wherever this is. Yeah, that's true. We don't get roti wrap up in the frozen section, the frozen section of the freezer. Not only do you have that, you got patel roti. I don't know what patel is. I don't know. Yeah. You are, you're supposed to know how to make your own roti. You can make roti, Shalini. Yes, I can. I'm sorry to say, but I can't. <laughs> a live update. She don't make roti. I know how to. <laughs> no, I, I'm being honest here. I don't know how to. Oh, yeah, I know how to. As a matter of fact, own. maybe if I try. No, you can get your own method of how to Good, do it. that is if the thing. If it's too sticky, then you gotta add more that flour. Is, and yeah. that is the part that I, I get difficulty with. The stickiness. Yeah, yeah, I like this. You want to drink it? good. Yes. So they like this Gatorade here, this frost, the white. And I never see this Arctic, this Arctic bliss, this blue green one. Yeah. Anybody want? Yeah, want any? Uh, you want to try? You want to try the white one? Okay. So we're all here doing a little shopping, <laughs> and he's looking for some meat. In the beef aisle. <laughs> I don't. I don't eat meat. Mommy, I don't eat meat. Uh, I don't eat meat. <laughs> so in here, as they say, supermarket. You can pick up every little thing. This kitchen stuff. Hello, hello. <laughs> and 
and um, spoons and, and openers and strainers, hangers too. Yeah. Great. Uh, no, I'm just showing that we could get pick up every little thing in here. Oh yes, please pick up a cup. So I'm just showing you some of the local stuff here that they bake. So this looks like a cheese roll, what we would call it, but it's cheese pie they call it, but in Guyana we say cheese roll, but it's actually cheese pie, and then they have um, sky, I don't know, what is this? Um, what we all call this? Turnover. Turnover? Turnover. Okay, and we call it Solara in oh, Guyana. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so turnover, and it's actually, well, we call it, um, Solara red cake. Nice. Red cake? Yeah, or red cake. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you have more cheese pies up here. This is a cinnamon and what drizzle. Call this Same thing. Oh. Same thing. Yes. Current rules here. And this is we all call this one. Buns. Same thing. Buns. <laughs> Buns. This one smells really nice. This um pumpkin bread this smells really good. What's the one with pumpkin bread? Oh, and then they have uh, sweet potato pudding. Oh, yep. Wow. So it has potato, sugar, spices, coconut milk, and butter. Wow, that looks. That sounds like a real great combination. Another cheese fry, like cheese roll. More and then um, coconut and raisin roll. This is coconut and raisin roll. There's cassava bread. Look the cassava bread. Our cassava bread is, is hard. Look the cassava bread. That's cassava. This is cassava bread. <laughs> and here, look, Narish. Look, they call this turnover. Solara? Yes. <laughs> Turnover. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then there is some more tennis roll, um, buns, bread, sliced bread. Okay, what's this? Seasoned bread crumbs. Nice seasoned bread crumbs. And there's wines over there more alcoholic beverages here cheeses milks um butters veggies all the way down there watermelon pumpkin garlic onion cornmeal beans tissues and so on and so on peanut butter crackers soup bread other beverages, water. Um, down here is like honeys and cereals, pasta stuff, cake mixes, sugars, baking products, all those things. Oh, they're cashing already? Yeah, all right, we're cashing and we're going back, put these things away, and then we're heading downtown. Yeah, you say you're gonna go buy something just now? You're gonna buy? <laughs> Say what it is. No, no, no. I don't say he's going to buy a comb. Like, for <laughs> where? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we joined the local bus and we're heading to St. George's. That is the capital of Grenada. And Grenada is known for being the Spice Island because historically it has been a large producer and exporter of spices, including nutmeg, mace, cloves, and cinnamon. Other spices the country is known for producing includes allspice, bay leaves, pepper, ginger, and vanilla. And nutmeg is Grenada's largest export. And today, nutmeg accounts for almost 30% of Grenada's total exports. 
and is one of the world's largest producers of nutmeg. But prior to the devastation caused by hurricanes Ivan and Emily, or should I say Ivan and Emily, in 2004 and 2005, Grenada's export of nutmeg was more than 30% of its total exports. Unfortunately, Hurricane Ivan severely damaged many nutmeg trees that were more than 100 years old. It took many years for Grenada's agriculture industry to recover from the devastation. And spice production, especially nutmeg, is still a major part of the nation's export, but not to the level it once was. So Grenada has six parishes, like how we have regions in Guyana, we have 10 administrative regions, they have six parishes. And those are St. Patrick, St. Andrew, St. David, St. George, St. John, and St. Mark. And those are six parishes of Grenada. And uh, St. George's, which is... Um, the capital of Grenada that is actually uh, in St. George. I know it sounds a bit uh, mixed up, but the nation's capital is St. George's, which is located within the parish of St. George. So here we are on the road heading to St. George's. And if you're not open to renting a car, you would do just fine hopping on to one of Grenada's reliable minibuses. We do it in Guyana. I do it in Guyana, we hop on our local minibuses and it takes you from point A to point B very smoothly. No problem there and you can do it right there in Grenada, you get to see the place much better and they take you from Melville Street to St. George's to Tongues around Grenada Island. You can go, there are, the, actually I'm going to show you the bus terminal and they have numbers on the buses that's going to take you from where, well, point A to point B, wherever you want to go. And we were coming from Grand Anne's Beach area there. Grand Anne's, that's where the Radisson Beach uh, Resort is. And we took it from right there and we were heading all the way down to St. George's. And that bus was actually number one. And that's uh, the route they take. So all we had to do, go back to the terminal, get uh, number one bus to get back to Grand Anse. and they have all the labels at the bus terminal so you don't get mixed up. So in Grenada, the traffic moves on the left-hand side, just like in Guyana, we drive on the left-hand side, and the majority of vehicles are right-hand drive. And the roads in Grenada are, some are paved, some are unpaved, uh, mostly narrow and winding, because it's like, it's like hills and mountains, and they have many blind corners, narrow, some have no shoulders, and they have really steep drops. I've witness it myself <laughs> and it's a bit scary a bit thrilling at the same time but um this is how the place is and it's it's so nice that i've experienced this
So we've reached St. George is now the capital of Grenada and we are at the bus terminal. And now oh, we're gonna head down the at the bottom there and we're gonna right. go walk around the town yeah, a bit to see what's going on. Okay. How'd it go? He's real. Can you see the car flying from the next one, you know? It's yes, possible. it is possible. <laughs> So guys, this is the bus terminal and we got to take bus number one to get back to the Radisons. So we're going to go tour around this place. We're going to go tour around to see what tongue looks like. And so far it's steep. It's really steep coming down. There's KFC here. There's Pizza Hut here. Yeah, there's a meat market right over there. These are the buses. See the bus look number one, bus number one. Yeah. So they get a place named Shop Right. Over there. There's a Grenada Bank up ahead, ACB Grenada Bank.
a mall, Esplanade Mall, sway to cruise ships. So they have little stores in here. That is a subway. There's fast food. Let's go see what's in here. I like the bags of there too. The granita bags are nice. I get one for ten, two for fifteen. One for ten, two for fifteen. Not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Bags that can spread. Huh? Bags are anything. Bags are anything, two for fifteen. So make them match. Anything just to like and grab it. So here we are in Esplanade Mall and we came across a store which has lots and lots of souvenirs from cups to t-shirts to bags to key rings to magnets to bottles, cups and so on. And we're going to explore the store a bit, see what we need and then we're going to walk around the mall a little more. I had to take off the sound because of the music playing in the background. But I'm going to throw in my own music, so enjoy the store as we go around. Yes. Y'all take notes about the beliefs. <laughs> so, they'll probably need to pause the video to read it. <laughs> That's fine. That's yes. fine. At least it's on cam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Diamonds Intercontinental. Wow. Nice. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, look at that one. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, that's a nice trip. Yeah. Get a little blue, get a little show show. Yeah, it's like an aquamarine color. Oh, this one here too. Size matters in Grenada. I gotta send this to Richard. <laughs> If you Hi, good afternoon. They should do this by um, so we're still in St. George's the capital and we just came out of Esplanade Mall and we're walking around still but in front of us we're getting closer you'll get to see 
um, there is some stairs like it's going all the way up it's actually high yes it's like a hill you have to walk up but there are stairs and up there is a general hospital and also it's Fort George and Fort George is there a very long time ago and um, they're actually working on it when we were there they were actually working on it to make it like a tourist attraction so we couldn't go farther but I can't believe that there are nurses that actually climb these stairs every single day morning and afternoon every day it is really high and um, I'm not accustomed to doing that Lots every day there, but you can imagine there. they I guess they've become prone to doing that Hospital and there, it's really an exercise at the end of the day so let's get up and you'll see yeah exactly <laughs> okay this looks so nice You know, you already feel it coming up that side. Take it light. Now people say, Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm blowing already. There's a tower there. And we were right down there just now. Now we're going up there. <sighs> you do this every day, ma'am? Every day. Wow. Every single day. <laughs> and there's a hospital up there. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Smart. Smart? It was nice meeting you, Smart. Nice meeting you also. <laughs> All right, take care. Yes, I was blowing whilst I was walking up. Not because walking up, the sun was so hot. It's like we were going towards the sun, like literally. But let me tell you, the view up there is wow. amazing. It's so lovely. And as you get higher and higher, you would actually see the entire layout. <gasps> it is mind blowing, honestly. I'm blowing. <laughs> We out the ship. <laughs> yeah, let's get some pictures here. This is beautiful, though. <sighs> so, guys, we're going higher up, and there is the hospital of this side. And the nurses has to walk up here every day. Yeah, I want to shoot as well. Whoa. This is nice. Hey, oh my but the sun is like really hot. And there is the grenade flag flying <laughs> high up there. Yeah, real muscle now. That's the grenade flag all the way up there. Yeah. <laughs> you can, um, one of the sides, you yep. do rock climbing, this is the wall, it's at your own risk. I want to call up them walkers for the shake of it. Yeah, hi! <laughs> I think it's me, so <laughs> So all the way up there is Fort George and I was informed that they're actually working on it to make it more of a tourist attraction so people can actually go all the way up there and I'm telling you when you get up there I can imagine how down at the bottom would look. I'm just standing right here and overlooking St. George's is so beautiful it's so lovely you can see the water and the buildings and everything 
it's really nice so we couldn't get further so here we are going back down and then we're going to get something to eat and then we are going to head back to the hotel It's so easy going down, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of. Now it's a little broad snow. <laughs> KFC and eat. Let me see how this KFC works. Thank you. So we're going into the St. George's Vegetable Spice and Craft Market. We didn't venture too far down. We just wanted to get some spices and then we were out of there. We were on the right place, the spice market. Yes, yes, okay, okay. Yes, Oh, spices, wow. Hello. Oh, these are so cute. Yeah, you get your cinnamon, you get your chili. Saffron, curry, ginger, paprika, mm. peppercorn, nutmeg, and dill. You know, and you get this one for 10 American. You know, not bad. Oh, you feel about yeah. oh, okay. um, and then we have it like this. Same 10 American and then we have the bigger one. Okay. You get the 20 American. Lovely gift pack for friends and family. You get the six of them for 20 American. Six different spices in each one of them. And it's lovely for gifts. Show you what one. Ginger, nutmeg, and bay leaf inside of it. Oh, okay. And then we have simos. Yeah. We make a drink with it like a smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was trying one. One of these. This one is how much? That's 10 US, 25 EC. Main place they're gonna get all the spices. Yeah. You got sea moss. Yeah. Very nice. So all the first in the Grenada. Thank you. Thank you for coming and God bless you. Thanks. Come back again in Jesus' name, okay? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And this is not my. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right. Day. You too. Take All right. Care. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be walking a little bit in the market on there. Let me just say quickly. <laughs> oh, they actually made them out of nuts. Oh, a seed pea is fresher. Seeds. Are you telling your great legs from walking there every day? Probably. Who has great legs? 
The guy that we watched him walking up the um, the hill. Oh. Running. Yeah. The running man. That's a movie. Yeah. <laughs> you touch one, you touch off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. yeah, you sure you this is enough, right? This is not enough, mate. It's some seed. It's made out of some seed. It's a lot of seeds. I mean, I don't think we can see a market like you've always seen Seattle Pike Market. Oh, wow, yeah. That's a market. Yeah. Because you wanted the biggest market they got. It's okay. So guys, here we are heading back to the bus terminal, still in St. George's, heading back to get bus number one, digit number one to Grand Anne's Beach. That's where the hotel is and that's where we have to come off. So we're going to get to the terminal and I'm going to show you that bus ride. It was a lot of ups and downs and turns and so on. It was thrilling but exciting. So let's get to the bus terminal and then let's head back to the hotel. Around the room, I don't mind a little mess. Just want to stay with you and we'll do anything that we want today. Won't be scared of falling down no more. So take me away.
there, see? So guys, it was so great taking you through St. George's. Hope you had fun. Hope you were entertained by this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And also check out the first Grenada video that I posted a few days ago. And of course, check this one. Like it, share it, comment. Let me know that you're enjoying the video. Comment below. I still have a few tours that I went on. I tried to cover the entire St. George's for you guys today so that you know uh, we could cover that part finish with that part so i can move on to the factories that i visited it was three of them the rum factory the chocolate factory and the nutmeg factory and i'm so excited to show you those and you'll get to see some amazing people from the caribbean i was honored to meet each and every one of you guys i know you guys are waiting to see the videos see those videos and it's coming up pretty soon but um, I needed to cover this first so don't forget to subscribe like and share and comment below and I will see you very soon in the next video take care bye